What is going on guys? Sean here again, Fair Brotherhood. This is another episode of Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Tag Team. We will continue on in the what if scenarios of this game. And oh wow, it just it automatically locked me on to what the next one was. Or let's check real quick. So we did the Bardock saga, which was his own like standalone when he was fighting uh, Frieza on the Supreme Kai's planet. It does make sense. So I think Bardock literally just saved Planet Vegeta by Miss leading Frieza into thinking that Supreme Kai's world was Planet Vegeta. In my opinion, that's what happened. And then we got to play as Dr. Jiro, who went to go hunt down 17 and 18 alongside Android 19, and Android 19 ended up betraying Dr. Jiro, and then they all ended up dying, which is pretty fucking dark for Dr. Jiro's story. And, well, Cell's still alive somewhere, but now he can no longer become perfect. And now we move on to Burn Up, a close, intense, super fierce battle. And this is in between the Gohan explodes when it becomes... Oh, that could be... If Zarbon was here, it'd be sexual, but it's when he turns Super Saiyan 2. And then right when the Coming World Tournament... It's again sexual, but um, it's when he was an adult. A teenager in the Majin Buu arc. So, which one does this take place? It's even got question marks. He doesn't know when the fuck it takes place. Alright, let's go in. Ah, oh, shit, Zarbon. <laughs> he's, he's, every time you say things like that, you just picture Zarbon smiling for some reason. A close, intense, super fierce battle. Well, this better be fucking, like, as good as this title. Broly, who was born on planet Vegeta the same day as Goku. If I had a face cam, you would have seen my jaw drop. Out of nowhere, Broly just shows up. Technically, this is the time span of when Broly shows up in the series, but... Yo, this is gonna be pretty fucking cool. Was born with a high power level that was regarded as a threat by King Vegeta. He was nearly killed along with his father Paragus. But his life was miraculously spared. And after time had passed, he appeared before Goku and Vegeta. Their fates deeply intertwined. He then transformed into the legendary Super Saiyan. And with a power that could destroy planets in one blow, he instinctually attacked Goku and his friends. Huh, I wonder if they changed Broly's voice actor, but um, what I like here is that Vegeta was always right about one thing. He said that a super, a legendary Super Saiyan is born every thousand years, and he was hoping it was him, but it wasn't, and it wasn't Goku either, because they had to work hard to, or at least something had to trigger for them to get their abilities. I'm not gonna fight Goku just yet, we have to kill everyone else first. Looks like I have another bug to squish now. <laughs> you monster, do your worst! Me, a monster? Oh, I'm a demon! <laughs> wow. He's calling himself a de- Oh wow, Teen Gohan's there too. He's calling himself a demon in front of the demon Piccolo, who found out he was a slug monster. Ah well. Now, what I was thinking- Oh fuck, I just lost my train of thought. Yeah, the whole legendary Super Saiyan thing? Bro Broly was literally the legendary Super Saiyan. No wonder King Vegeta wanted to murder his ass, because then Vegeta would have like an inferiority complex against him. And he does! Even when he showed up, he was all fucking... He gave up. Vegeta's pride was destroyed, and damn it. Oh wow, I have a lot of health bars. And it's pr I definitely see why I need them, because these fuckers are teaming up and doing some pretty good... Com and Piccolo! Yeah, he did the move I hate so much. That triangle and circle combo bullshit. I hate that move so much. It's so overpowered. And it's just out of nowhere, too. Come on, just fuck you, Piccolo. Oh, they yeah, are trying to grab me. Nope, nope, fuck. Aw, oh, come on! They are teaming up too good here. Master and father and son right here. Fuck Goku. Piccolo is always going to be Gohan's real dad. Come on. And die! Oh, I see the Z-Sword in the fucking mountains. I could probably go grab that now. Look at these muscles. Look at these pectorals that... Fucking Piccolo, oh my god. But now, I'm telling you, like, Broly could probably lift out the Z-Sword easily. Oh, fuck. I did not even realize Gohan was using his move. I should have realized by the dark clouds that formed when he did the attack. Okay, and Team Gohan, this is where you get clothesline, motherfucker! Damn. Also, Broly shouldn't even be able to talk this much when he's in this mode. He was just really kind of insane. And he lost his mind. He wasn't compared to, like, his normal form, so... You think he'd be silent and just a maniac, but it doesn't work like that. Key blast to win this. Where is he? Ah, uh, key blast to end this. No, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Go on, just staying alive by luck here. All right, come on. Just, just hit him. He's just. Oh, fuck you. Finally. I see Piccolo down there, but goddamn it, Go on, was just flying around. He was just 
He was dodging my key blast. Key blast was the easiest way to kill someone. All right, yeah, you go grab your fruit, Gohan. You better save Piccolo because he's dying on the ground. Wow, both of you are dying on the ground. Let me get the Z sword. Come on, I'm bigger than the fucking mountain. Let me get the Z sword. Oh well. Oh, and Vegeta's turn. Ah, uh, well, there was no voice acting there. I was expecting to hear Kakarot or anything like that, but no. Kakarot! The, uh, the legendary Super Saiyan. Okay, so, wow, and Trunks is here. Yeah, oh yeah, he was here. This is in between the Cell Saga. Oh yeah, he's, 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 I remember SSJ9000's version of that shit where he was like, I'm Trunks to the motherfucking briefs. I will throw you off this motherfucking mountain. <laughs> uh, I miss SSJ9000. They had to, they banned his stuff for, just for no reason. It was too fucking hilarious. Well, but then again, Team Four Star kind of is the only one who they pretty much gave permission to do this shit. Uh, wait. Oh, fuck. Yo, Piccolo had to literally beat the shit out of Vegeta and tell him that you're nothing if you're just gonna chill and cry and whine that you're going to die. That's not how a prince goes out, that's not how a warrior goes out. But I think this was also another defeat to his pride because he had to watch another person who had Super Saiyan, but his was the natural. He was the legend. And Vegeta was not. That was like such a... It, it really must have hurt because then he realized he wasn't shit. Damn, this is not gonna end well for you, Trunks. You gotta die first. Make Vegeta even more angry so he can regain his pride. Oh, Mega Blaster, motherfucker. Oh, what? Well, Trunks, I mean, I hate you so much right now. You have to dodge my fucking Omega Blaster and fuck you. The sky was dark there for a second. Everyone was using a move. I'm probably gonna have to use a sense of being here because my health is way too low. I'm probably not gonna survive this, but neither you, Trunks. You go down first. Come on, gotta catch up to him before Vegeta's is like another attack on behind my back. Right against the oh, he didn't hit the wall. There you go. Come on, just keep gotta keep with the combos and this is where Trunks dies. Cell does is not the only one who killed Trunks. Yeah. There we go. Yo, Cell had killed Trunks so many times, I just realized that. Cell is the reason that Trunks keeps dying in all the parallel universes and shit. That's pretty fucked up. Cell you're an asshole to Trunks. Oh, and now I'm just gonna beat the shot you against the wall. This is what you are afraid of, Vegeta! This is what you are afraid of! Yeah! And I won without using a- well, not yet. I won without using a sensu beam! This is how it will be! By literally one inch of my HP left. Wow. The legendary Super Saiyan is the legend, motherfucker. And father and son died right next to each other. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Done already? Looks like Captain Cock is the only one left! Kakarot! This is where you die. And my health is completely low. How do I use a sensu beam while I'm just standing here? Oh, well, let's go. Kakarot, I'm going to cover this planet in blood, starting with yours. Oh, and Krillin his, is his backup? I'm sorry, Krillin, you're gonna die first, because you look closest like me, so I have to kill you first. Wow, and Krillin grabbed me to, before I could actually use Kakarot's move. But now, come on, I'm gonna mash that sucker button! Mash it! Oh man, Krillin's fighting back, but he should die from this, at least. Oh, uh, still alive, but it's alright. Fuck, he's too small to hit. This is the way I was fighting 16 in the last couple episodes was um, I guess when I was playing as Dr. Rowe, is the same way Goku is doing it now. He can't touch Broly. None of his punches are like affecting him. Well, they do damage, but it just doesn't do the hits like this. It doesn't cause any form of hate. Like, and Goku, this is for crying all that damn time for <laughs> and using your dende to touch me, you disgusting bastard. Why die? Goku, you just couldn't shut up as a kid, huh? A sand warrior has to, like, have no lungs and stuff. Die! Come on, I'm using Omega Blast of the Fish. Kakarot! Oh, fuck, come on. Kakarot! 
Come on! There we go. And Omega Blaster right to your face. If you dodge this, I will give you props, Goku. No, you did not. And a suck! Oh, come on. He, they press the circle button like there's no tomorrow. They got, like, the turbo controller and shit. And Goku's dead. Well, and that should be it. I don't think anyone else is going to come back. Paragus, Paragus isn't even a character in this, so he's not coming back. Now, let's see. Wow, everyone's dead. Oh, Broly, I'm impressed. You're really, really strong. You ready? Let's start the second round. Oh, shit. I just realized this isn't even a what if story. This is literally Broly's story, so it's not going by whether or not Broly's gonna win this or not. It's whether or not. Wow, just the sarcasm in this Broly is just fucking hilarious, but Goku, how are you so calm fighting him? I know you love good challenges and all, but Broly just he pretty much murdered your son, Piccolo, uh, your rival slash best friend, uh, the future kid. You, you really take things too easily. This is why everyone hates you. <laughs> Gigantic grab him, he's right- Aw, oh, come on, he was right there! But Goku can see that shit coming, and then... Damn it. Come on, and Goku, you're gonna die here. I would be playing as- Shouldn't I be playing as Goku right now if I'm keeping to the story? Kakarot! Yep, you didn't work- Didn't- Oh, fuck, no, 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 I'm not using a sensor beam. This way, you, yep, he can't dodge us, he was using a key blast. Die! Now work, come on, and mash that circle button! What the fuck?! How the hell can he- Yo, Goku's a circle button pressing master. But he's dead here, so. What? Oh, he's a sensu bean. You're still alive. You can't let him win. You can't lose. This planet will be your way. <laughs> well, Broly, you've had a tendency to destroy planets, so. I don't know if you're actually going to make this his grave. It's probably just going to be some space area that's his grave, or where he died. It's going to be like a little sign that says, this is where Goku died. Because you destroy planets with, like, literally no effort. You destroy a slave, like, plantation of, like, those little alien people, and you murdered their entire race in, like, no, like, listen, to say, ah, fuck. But here we go, and now you've got me even stronger. Fuck. Here, come on, use eraser cannon. Die! What?! Goku, you pulling out some bullshit here. I gotta use my Kakarot move again. Fuck you. Kakarot! Wow, Broly gets the blue thing pretty fast compared to other characters. And this is how it ends. Now come on, circle button! Yo, fucking Goku. How? I even gave up at the end of That was just bullshit. Goku's just too powerful. Even with Team B defense, you are nothing. You die all the same. And we're on Supreme Kai's planet, I just realized that. Well, I guess Supreme Kai's planet is considered the space planet of all these, like, what if stuff. <laughs> you held out well, but it's now time to end this. Get back here and fight me, or I'll destroy this entire planet! Why is the... <laughs> wow, he's screaming so much and, like, his anger is shaking up the, the dialogue. Goku and his friends were defeated by the overwhelming power of Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan. There was no one left capable of stopping Broly. Broly's rampage would not cease until the Earth, as well as the entire universe, was destroyed. Okay. That ended way differently. That Okay, that was a what if. I thought it was, yeah, Broly's version. He's supposed to die if we were going to get him as a character. Bardock felt his his story to get him right. So how come we got... Ah, this is just fucking weird. I don't know how the hell Broly still survived this shit. Maybe because I killed everyone else and that's what I get the gold star for? I don't even know. That was it's pretty insane. Let me just see what's up next. Feral to Prowl. Oh, wow, there's a lot of shit left. Okay, so... Damn, Broly... He's so fucking cool, but he murdered every- And even if you went to destroy Earth and the rest of the universe, Frieza is already dead, and I think Beerus would have noticed some power going around destroying- the Well, he's still asleep at this time, but Whis probably would have woken him up to tell him that you have to go kill this guy because he's destroying all these planets, you aren't going to get any more food, so Beerus would have stopped Broly eventually, but then we would never would have had the arcs or anything like that because Broly ends it all and he goes crazy, even though he's- 
somehow sane enough to know where Earth is, and he knows all this shit. Somehow, he's still gonna, he's still crazy and destroys Earth and all this stuff. I don't get it, Broly. You don't make sense a lot. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Tag Team. I'm sorry if this episode is a little bit shorter than I usually make them. I'm, uh, it's just that I don't know what time, I don't know if I can squeeze in another like uh, what if part into this without making it too long so I hope you guys will appreciate that um, I'm trying to at least make these episodes at least watchable not like where you have to sit down and get some popcorn and literally chill here for an hour so <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys actually want that but it's uh, that's just how it is anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this episode please leave a like and a favor please subscribe to my channel Fatal Brotherhood please subscribe to Paul's channel Super Saiyan Paul and please subscribe to Alex's channel Unreal Same and Gaming as always guys thank you guys so much for watching my videos thank you guys for all your support you guys are the fucking best and as always Stay gold, guys. Peace.